From parking tickets all the way to crackheads, police officers have some of the craziest stories you could possibly imagine. So let's go and check out the craziest top 10 Florida arrests caught on body cam. Top 10 wildest Florida man arrests caught on camera. What about the woman, bro? Also, disclaimer for YouTube. Beto, 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 YouTube, wait, stop. This shit is found on YouTube. Nobody was hurt. YouTube, we are watching this in the form of education of how to not act retarded and to keep everybody safe, including these beautiful, amazing police officers who are protecting our general public, all right? Jesus hands. I have to throw this disclaimer in there because YouTube loves checking my fucking videos out. Big shout out to Law and Crime After Hours for this footage. We appreciate you. First, we're in South Beach, Miami, where a man Miami allegedly Beach. tried to steal a jet ski, then jumped into the uh, ocean and the took time. off his swim trunks. Hey, he trying to show me some booty, bro? Why are we mad? Let me know down below in the comments. Would you rather be a police officer or a firefighter, okay? You guys love the firefighter body cam footage, which was actually f crazy. Firemen got to deal with the fire. I feel like police got to deal with the sh sh The business manager tells police the man broke a paddle and tried to hit him in the, the head paddle. with it before going into the water. Bro, he's trying to take your butt, bro. Knock you unconscious. Police on shore wait for the patrol to arrive, but the water is too shallow for the boats to get too close. How are you not able to escape, bro? If I try and steal your jet ski and I somehow fail, I'd use a gun. I'm not going to fail. But if I failed, right, then I whip out my butt cheeks. Bro, I'm going to swim under the water. It's been a while since I've like held my breath, but like, you know, <clears throat> I'm gonna swim away. I'm not gonna just stand there, booty cheeks out in the open, waiting for your whole ass police boat to stop me. Old man titties? Oh, dude, those are old man udders, okay? In full view of everyone on the beach, including children. Nah, dude, see now, you're a <laughs> Shoot him in the chest. Get out the butt. Oh my God, look at his butt. <laughs> the sun is in the water, my eyes. First of all, it was gay. He did it on purpose. He wanted me to see his butthole. He didn't just dive, all right? He did the... Imagine the smell. The man can be heard yelling and even singing in multiple languages. Oh, he's possessed. The officers tried to get him to come out of the ocean, but it's not working. The hot female officers controlling the situation. Bad idea. She's like, get out of the water right now. He's like, you can't make me get out of the water, okay? I'll never leave this... Uh, the police are like, I'll handle this, bro. In the water and eventually okay. The sand. This is a gay orgy now. This is no longer what... That's not fair. Okay, I have to restart. I didn't see anything that happened in the water. God damn. Okay, so they're all being gay, wrestling. I'm such a dog. Am I a piece of shit? The officers are like, can you guys go get the naked dude in the water? I'd be like, don't resist. His nutsack, I'm just like, oh, oh, yeah, dude, you better put your f***ing hands behind your back. I'm in control now. He was arrested and charged with aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, resisting an officer with violence, lewd behavior, aggravated battery, providing a false name after arrest. We're not going to talk about the butthole flexing you just did on everybody on the beach? Next, we're in Tampa, Florida. Tampa, it's just Florida. after 7 p.m. on Christmas Eve, 2023. These are all Florida guys, chat. Yeah, just so y'all know, he's just sort of casually laying there with his arms behind his head. He even starts to make dirt angels with his arms. Oh, Rios then dude. decides to leave his hiding place and try to make a run for it, but- I didn't even think about the, the bath salts. Oh, no, f*** all this, bro. Being a cop in Florida, bro, that's like being special forces in the military, okay? All right, he's starting to move. He doing a yeah, golem shmeagol walk, bro. Oh, he he just fell down. Walk, bro. He retarded. Just go grab him. The sheriff's office sent in an officer with his canine who was able to oh. take Rios into custody. Oh, please let it bite him. Get on the ground or you're going to get bit. Oh, yeah. that's Mr. so hot. Final warning. Get on the ground or you're going to get bit. Rios was charged with leaving the scene of an incident, driving with a canceled, suspended, or revoked. Oh, that was it? Bro, pfft, lame. Yo, chat. Would you just let the dog go? Bro, I'm going to be like, listen, Chanel, go forth and do great things, bitch. Bite his penis off. Go! Pause. 70% of you are not subscribed, bro. What the fuck? So, if you guys are enjoying this content, go and hit that like and subscribe button. If not, go and dislike the video so I actually know where I need to improve. Back to the crackheads. Now we move to Coco, Florida. And this time it's a Florida woman who's in trouble with the law. Why the fuck everyone just gotta become a Karen when we go to the drive-thru? That escalate nice Florida though. Woman threatening employees with a gun. They found Quave Young inside her SUV at the drive-thru window. Rich homie Quan? Who did they arrest? They found Quave Young inside her Quave SUV Young. at the drive-thru window. Bro, the officer's like, hey, listen, let me...
Kwame, is that you? What are you doing, bro? This is the drive through All the police officers, let me know down below in the comments the craziest name you've come across when arresting somebody. Apparently they saw your gun and they thought you it's were in the it. It's in the car. I have it in my car. That's where I have it. Okay, I'm just telling it's you. It's no big deal. You're she got mad order? because she she got mad because I asked for my order. That was the problem. I didn't do nothing. All I said was, I'm still waiting on my number one order because I asked for it and I'm trying to go home. The McFlurry machine, ma'am, is broken. We're sorry. I don't know Florida laws, okay? But let me speak for myself here in Nevada. I carry all the time. When I'm in my car, my sh is chilling in, like, the cup holder. And then before I get out of my car, my shit goes into my into my appendix holster. Young is insistent that this is all some sort Yoga? of misunderstanding. What is up with this for? What is the problem? She got something in the car, bro. Something not right. So I did not threaten her with nothing. That's what we're here No. I've been sitting in the car. Why would I threaten someone? Oh, my God. You know what I just thought about? It's way worse than all this is that the McDonald's line is just getting longer and longer by the second. According to the employees, Young ordered a meal that wasn't on the menu and became irate when it, they though? told her she needed to order something else. She reportedly drove up to the first window and again demanded the off-menu meal. She like, um, I need, uh, two Whoppers. Bitch, this is McDonald's. She pointed Thank the gun you. at the person and told her she was gonna bust her What? Shit. I did not say that. She was I'm not, uh, I know we got cameras. That's weird as hell. You can get my- That's weird as hell. Ma'am, this shows you pointing a gun in her face saying, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. No, uh, she just made that. She in there. Assault. Like, how is that assault? I didn't- Oh, you, you telling somebody that you're going to hurt them, you got a gun right next to you. I didn't tell her I was going to hurt her. I said she was going to be unalive. You can say, hello, Mr. Officer, nothing against you. Lawyer, please. Like, that's all you should f***ing say. Next, we head to Davenport, Florida. It's Monday, Davenport, November 13th, 2023. Deputies responded to a neighborhood where two suspects, a man and a woman, were apparently breaking into cars. Oh, don't ever break into my shit. I'll shoot you from my window. You're done. The white sedan speeding past the deputies is the suspect car. Oh! They're driving around trying to find an exit, but the subdivision only has one. When the suspects turned around, they ended up crashing into a car that was fortunately oh! unoccupied. Oh! Calm voice describing this whole situation. In my head up, bro. It's like he's watching this live just cool coming. I could... Now I'd be like, all right, Tom, the, the car is going in the holy f***ing shit! 37-year-old Timothy Hoji was booked for a burglary of an unoccupied vehicle. Oh, he looks like a bad guy, too. That's crazy. But, like, you guys beat the shit off. He's like, no, dumb ass crashed into another f***ing car. Like an idiot. And Meth pipe blew this. up in his On face. his neck is the tattoo, quote, all gas, no brakes. The f***ing irony sir tell me why you have that tattoo on your neck i'm not how to use brakes all gas no brakes you want to know something that's crazy chat let me actually tell y'all something if you guys want to know how serious a situation may be when a police officer shows up watch how they get out of their car that will tell you a lot next we're in flagler county where officials say a man stole an expensive electric scooter from a target store then started to assemble it right Dude. outside oh my god is teeth why does everybody in florida smoke crack it's in your guys's water supply or something dude look at this guy my precious what's going on man oh. drugs hey, favor, stand up huh stand up i'm gonna detain you for a second does this dude have a grilling buy the scooter don't say anything bro you don't want to answer that question? Wow, he's kind of smart for a crackhead. He was charged with petty larceny and possession of drugs. Oh, this dude sucks pee, pee on the side for money, dude. 100%. He's like this. He's like, I'll suck your dick for a dollar. Wait, is that how paraphernalia spelt? That doesn't even look like a real word. That looks like a dinosaur name. That's crazy. I literally have never seen the word paraphernalia spelled out. Now we're back in Polk County, where another man was arrested for theft. Polk County. And it's what he's accused of stealing that really made the the headlines alcohol orange juice turned himself into the sheriff's office after apparently being caught on video taking ingredients for a cocktail from an apartment deputies bro you got caught in the most beautiful 4k i've ever seen in my whole life foster broke into an apartment and stole vodka bro eyeballed the camera and couldn't think of a way to play it off he said all right let's go foster was caught on surveillance camera he was charged with burglary of a dwelling and petty larceny. Hey, you know what's lightweight kind of crazy? All we always hear, like, in a professional is, like, they were caught on their home surveillance camera or caught on surveillance camera on 4K. I'm like, just, it's a ring camera. We know it's a 
fucking ring camera, okay? okay? Police responded to a smoke shop on a report of a man being disruptive and threatening workers. Disruptive in a smoke shop? Mm -hmm. yeah, I called about him causing a disturbance, and he's come in here quite a few times already. And it's bothered me and customers, and it makes me very uncomfortable. The officer finds William Bussey in the same shopping center. William Badussy? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. My boy's last name is Badussy? It's William Bussey. I was arrested about eight months ago. Okay, back up for me a little bit, oh, please. Okay. Hey, bro, back up. You smell like shit. What's your question? Just okay. get to that. If I sue the Port Orange of the Police Department and they give me $250,000, that's tax-free, right? I have no idea. Okay. Dude is high as fuck. He's talking to the fucking police like it's his lawyer, bro. He may not know the difference right now. Bussy's demeanor suddenly changes, and he becomes incredibly combative. You don't want to do this. Black belt, karate, okay. a black belt, and judo. You understand you're, you're trespassing the, the store, correct? I'll take your gun and walk you talk. I love when homeless people just know all the martial arts. Like, every single one of them, bro. Because then you get to see all the cool poses that they do. Better back up, dude. Better back your ass up right now or I'll get you, dude. Oh, okay. get him. He's done. Bussy just threw a piece of lunch meat at You're the done. officer. And You're the done. Cop. Everyone's like, oh, dude, he's just a homeless guy. Leave him alone. Why? So you can leave him and then he can go back into that shop and f the female when nobody's there? F you. F this guy. If he's talking to an officer this way, starting nothing but problems, has already caused shit before the officer showed up there, and is threatening the officer with his own gun, and then is throwing shit at the officer, imagine what he's gonna do to everybody else who is not enforcing the law, does not have a firearm, and does not have any sort of authority or training. The cop at this point has had enough. Wait a minute. No, 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 Wait, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. He's like, I paid $5 for that lunch bowl. Can I please go eat it before you take me to jail? Bussy tells the officer that his arrest will only lead to more legal action. This is a lawsuit. I'm suing you for a million. Chat, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to know who feels bad for the homeless guy. Like, who actually feels bad for the homeless dude? If you do feel bad for the homeless guy, let me know down below in the comments. All right, I'm, I'm curious. I want to know why, though. Not in the sense of you are wrong. I'm just like, could you explain to me? Because I'm very curious. Yes. All right, Russian. Nobody attack Russian bias. I'm serious, chat. I'll block you. Mr. Russian, could you please briefly explain why you feel bad? Homeless people have is bad enough already. That's not an excuse to do bad things. Then you're telling all the homeless people, right? Go ahead and do whatever you want. We'll give you a freebie because then everybody gets a freebie. That's not fair. Now, I understand the empathy part of this, right? Like, I feel bad in the sense of, oh, it's a homeless guy. He doesn't have but the homeless guy knows he's homeless too. So why the f would he be throwing sh at an officer, treating the officer like sh I feel bad for the f police officer, not the homeless guy. The officer came in so comic like he said, hey, you're trespassing, you can't go back in there, okay? He's like, oh, f can I know sh sucky, f -y, f -y, booty ass, booty, booty. Nah, bro. You're lucky I didn't have my pocket knife with me. That's sad, you You'd be dead. Shut the f up, retarded homeless guy. God damn. I wish I had my so I could if I was the cop, I'd be like, well, you know what? Have fun getting in prison. Bussy was booked for battery on a police officer. Bussie. In October, Bussy was sentenced to 200 days in jail. <laughs> hey, f you, Bussy. That's what you get. You have fun in jail. You fuck. Now we go to Polk County, where a man delivering for DoorDash allegedly uh. wanted more for his services than just a tip on the app. Okay. I cannot wait. Y'all know how I feel about people who wish they got tipped more. <sighs> He looks directly at the camera several times before taking a photo of- Oh, he about to do something f***ed up. But then he decides to take an Amazon package from the front stoop and puts it under his shirt. Ah, uh, he's retarded. And they subpoenaed DoorDash to identify the driver. <gasps> Salim was arrested and charged with burglary and petty theft for taking the package, which had an oil Dude. filter inside worth only about $8. Bro, hey, real sh I got cameras all around my house don't do it our last stop on this florida man journey is in citrus county oh god where the oh, sheriff's she got a herpa, office right there bro she got, i was sucking for crack sir the sheriff's office posted a photo of stacy usher 
who apparently tried to hide from deputies inside of a couch. The crazy part is she lightweight kind of fit really good, I think. Deputies had been searching for her after they say she violated her probation by selling fentanyl. Usher is a convicted felon God, in multiple th Florida counties with a history of drug fraud, grand theft, and using bogus checks. All right, well, long story short, don't smoke crack and limit visiting Florida, okay?